High Fashion Dolls. It is Wednesday, Wednesday, April 19th, and welcome to an all-new episode of Style by Stevie. I think I wore the perfect color for today's special guest. He's been on the show previously when me and Johnny did a show together back in 2021, and I'm glad to have him back to discuss his new EP, Wicked. Ladies and gentlemen, joining me in a bit, we have Martel Starr. But before we get into today's show, let's get into a mental health wellness check. How am I feeling? I am feeling great. I'm feeling good. As you guys can see, I'm feeling rejuvenated. I'm feeling relaxed, refreshed. Um, just getting some rest and drinking lots of water, making sure that I stay hydrated. It's like in the 80s outside. I know it is hot. This morning, it was pretty chilly, a little nippy, and then in the afternoon, it gets roasting hot. So that's springtime weather for you. But how are you guys doing, fashion dolls? Let me go ahead and share this live so that we can get this live juking, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's show with Aaron Lloyd and my brother Scott Valentine. That was an amazing show yesterday. Having him come on and basically give us just some gems and flowers and praise along the way is amazing. And just being uplifted and knowing that there is love and support out here. Hi, Ducardi. From so many people who love and care and watch the platform. It is amazing how much you guys care and show so much support for me here on Style by Stevie. And I want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys for supporting and viewing. Whether it's to see my style choices, what I'm wearing week, or to see the amazing guests, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you. Because again, sincerely, I would not be here where I'm at with this platform. And there's so many great things that are in the horizon to come. So you guys just stay on the journey with me. Let me go ahead and share this live with Martel so that we can get him in here. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a great week thus far. And I am definitely enjoying it. And I hope you guys are too. It's been an amazing week. I can't say it enough. All of this love, all of this support that you guys have given me is just impeccable. You guys are incredible. Y'all know that. So let me go ahead and share this live and get Martel in here so that we can get this interview juke in. He's here to talk about his new EP and his single, Body. And I'm super excited to have him here. We did our show back in 2021. So while we're waiting on Martel, let me give you guys some celeb tea, fashion dolls. All right. Hey, brother. Hey, k Tubes. Yes, you guys coming in, share the live. Make sure you guys share the live. Um, let me give you guys some tea on what is to come in the fashion world. All right. Yes. He's coming in, fashion dolls. Let me give you guys some tea. All right. So we know the next month is May, and the first Monday in May is the biggest fashion event ever in the world, and it is the Met Gala. All right. So let me give you guys the dates. The Metropolitan Museum of Art on 5th Avenue from May 5th to July 16th, 2023 will be the Met Gala. And this, the thing for this year, they're celebrating fashion icon and fashion pioneer Carl Lagerfeld, a line of beauty, and it's an exhibition. So make sure you guys go and check that out if you are in the New York area, New York's Met Metropolitan Museum of Art and Fashion. It is going to be beautiful, and I can't wait to see the classics come on the pink carpet or whatever color carpet they're going to do this year. It is going to be beautiful, and I've already went and did my research. Of course, I know about Carl Lagerfeld and Chanel and how iconic his fashions are all the way back to 1994. Watching the couture designs go down the runway is so beautiful. So that's just the first tip of the day and the first news pointer for the day I had to let y'all know that I hope you guys are doing awesome so without further ado let's welcome our incredibly talented special guest you might have seen him on one hit particular hit show that you guys know twisted and he went on to do so much with his music career and then some he's here to talk about his new EP wicked ladies and gentlemen without further ado let's welcome Martel Starr Hello. Hey, y'all. Uh, 
welcome back to the dollhouse how are you i am wonderful thank you so much for having me it is always a pleasure to have you here we did our last conversation i want to say back in 2021 it was me you and my co-host john yes you know i spoke and to him um, i spoke to him not too long ago Johnny, yes, he's doing his thing in the Atlanta area, which reminds me, make sure you guys go and check out Mud Spanish Nails. Book your appointments with Johnny. He is so dope. You guys are looking at my nails. Yeah, it's time for your girl to get a feeling. Don't look it out. <laughs> but definitely head on over and check out Mud's Fetish Nails. He's got his own custom powders and everything you need nail-wise. And shout outs to my brother, K-Tubes85. K-Tubes is a good friend of yours, Martel. An amazing support. Hey, I see you. Um, just shout, shout out to everybody who should be showing me so much love. I really... Oh my gosh. That's what I'm talking about. Just shout out to everybody who just be showing me so much love. Thank you so much for having me on here today. Yes, I'm glad to have you back. It's been longly overdue, but our schedule is just cutting the line. You've been busy out performing, which we'll get into, and your new EP, which we're here to talk about, which is out right now. So make sure you guys go and check it out. I'm super excited. Now, tell us about this new hit single body because i heard it and i loved it and you got another one called potion which is another one of my favorites also too thank you so much um body is body is everything um sometimes i tell people that body not sometimes all the time honestly i tell people that body is a is an inspirational track it's a gospel track really um when I wrote Body, when I started writing Body, um, it was it was um, a little bit after the pandemic had had kind of started, um, and it was I was you know I was a little I was a little hefty. I you know I had been with, I had been with my little boyfriend at the time, so you know we was out here kind of getting getting that little healthy weight, what not that happy weight. Um, but I'm like you know you still cute you whatever, and I was like you know I needed like a little a little summertime song, a little cute little bop. Um, yes. And and that was it. Like the song really is just about being sexy no matter what. Like, listen, like let me tell you, I don't care how I look. I I'll be I'll be you know butt naked on the internet out here on my OnlyFans, and I ain't got no OnlyFans, but still, nonetheless, I'll be out here just doing my thing, um, regardless. Because you know it, it's just about just feeling good no matter what. And just body. Absolutely, and you have been an advocate for body positivity as well as our girl Lizzo. Um, you guys know I'm gonna bring it up. Um, Lizzo clapped back at Candace Owens for her most recent comments, and I'm I'm totally here for it. Absolutely. She says I'm beautiful, and this song right here is the definition of body positivity. So if you guys have not heard Martell's body, please go and download it. Now the EP's name is Wicked. Tell us where the concept because when I think of Wicked, and I'm wearing the perfect color. I wore green just for you Thank today. You so much. <laughs> so. Tell us about the EP Wicked. Where did you get the concept and the imagery? Because it's giving me Wizard of Oz. It's like it's iconic. The cover is iconic. Hey man, thank you. Um, and I want to I want it to be perceived that way. Um, I want it to be um, compared to um, Wicked the musical. Um, that that initial cover art. Um, for me, when I first moved to Atlanta, um, there's a building downtown. I tell the story all the time. There's a building um, downtown in Buckhead. Um, and it has like it's just these green lights that shoot down the entire building um and the very first moment i saw it, it was like we were driving down one night and um i just saw it they just stole my heart so quick and it was just like welcome to emerald city um and i was like freshly after i moved to atlanta um and that's really that's where everything had began it was just that i felt like that was my entrance into atlanta just welcoming me welcoming welcoming me me into um emerald city or into atlanta um and that's where it grew um, so then that was that first concept. Um, so then Wicked, uh, which is that second part now of this story. Um, yes. Well, wow, I feel like to me, Wicked kind of talks about what what Atlanta can be, um, what Atlanta um, may show itself to be. Um, so really the sex, drugs, and rock and roll of uh, um, So, you know, sometimes it's party and sometimes it, it's you know, overindulgence. Sometimes it's, um, you know, whatever, whatever, you know, those vices may be. I'm not necessarily, not necessarily saying that those things are bad or that they're, you know, whatever. Um, but, you know, they're, they're what the, the world may consider wicked. Um, and so, again, again, it's even showing just that um, even being being wicked is still going. It's, it, it, it's still a good time in my wickedness um, to say. Because, um, again, there's nothing. I don't think there's anything in there where it's just like, 
oh my gosh, this is like dangerous. If you if you look at what's happening out in the world right now, um, people are people are dying at such a, a mass rate. People in our community are being murdered and killed. Um, so when we think of things that we're calling wicked, um, when we listen to to this album and we think of the things that, that the world are calling they're, they're calling wicked, it's not. There's like these things. We, again, this is these are things that are just to ourselves. This is you know sex drugs and rock and roll. Um, but again, there's people out in the world who are doing wickedness, um, and that's what they should be focused on. Wow, and that's a perfect way to explain it. Now we got a question for you. Let me see. Let me see what's down here in this question box. Tell Martel, I want my book to be. I told him I will set. I would set it up. We would talk. We talked a while back. <laughs> and look, Leave that's what I said, like, I said we were talking. Um, so I saw. I'm like, listen, when I'm, when it's time, I'm gonna be up on there. And here we are. Yes, it finally happened because he kind of gave me a nudge. He said Martel was coming out with new music, and when I said what, so I was excited. I had to set it up and make it happen. And we're here, fashion dolls. So let's do something called track play. Okay, I'm gonna go down the track playlist for your EP Wicked, and you give me one word to describe each song on here. Okay, of course the intro is the intro, but let's start with potion. Okay, potion, nasty. Okay. Flex. Confident. Body. Mm. I guess that that would be helpful. Um, I guess there's a little bit of cockiness to that. Cocky. Okay. Mac D. Mm. Well, that's my father, my dad. You got Mac too. Um, son. Okay. And the next one, I, I can't really say. So um, if you know, you know. <laughs> and, My and the, I guess that's the, that's the word. Uh, power. Yes. All right. The next one is let it out. Lust. Okay. End of the night. Decisions. Okay. And you got the body remix, mistress remix. Um, Banji. Okay. And you got end of the night, which features Eugene Smiles, who we had here on the show as well too. And Co Red, yes. Um, that is um an improvement. Okay. All right. This is an innovative project, and if you guys have not heard it, please go and stream and listen to Wicked, which is out on all platforms right now by Martell Star. And speaking of streaming, and go, we just talked about it in the beginning of the interview while I was interview, interviewing, um, oh, introducing you. <laughs> I got tongue tied for a minute. Um, you are also one of the models in advocates on Twisted Fabric. So tell us a little bit about that. Oh my God, I love Twisted. Um, this is Twisted Fabric right here. I, my, it's a little crop top. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I absolutely love his Twisted Fabric. I've been with them since um, 20, 2017, 2018. It's been so long. Um, I, I, I love them. They really have kind of just um, done so much to help and just increase my brand, which is I'm their brand ambassador. Um, they're such a just they are an innovative um the initial concept um was just clothes to be for anybody um where all the clothes should be uh, more or less um unisex um things that can be um just yeah. just between men and women um uh, items that you know they, they look cute on on a big girl just the same way they look on a on a skinny man and vice versa um and so you know things that just give give all around range um and i do make clothes that are, that are specific um just for for people or you know a specific body type um or a shape um but you know overall they they make things that are, they've had they've had different like sweatsuits and um some cute little short sets where for me, it was a little short set, but on, on somebody else, I'm like, girl, that looks like a little pajama set, you know, you didn't change it around. So, um, and, I, and that's what I do love about Twisted Fabric, is that they, they make things that, you know, it is Twisted Fabric, just things that kind of just wrap around anybody. Oh, that's good. They, it just wraps around and hugs anybody. That's good. And what I love about Twisted Fabric is that it's black owned. Absolutely. We, we don't see 
I mean, there are black fashion brands out here, and I try to make sure that I shout them all out here on my platform because I'm all about supporting black-owned businesses. But make sure you guys go and check out Twisted Fabric. Definitely. And it, what else I love about it is that, as you mentioned, it's size inclusive because we're not all like the runway models that walk down in Paris no, and no. Milan. We're not all shaped like that. I know for me personally, I'm I'm a tall, curvy girl. I'm like five foot seven. And I've got a lot of hits. You guys have seen the photos. It's Monday's dress. If you've seen it, you know, you know. Okay. If you <laughs> but know. We're, we're not all shaped the same. So that's what I love about Twisted Fabric. So definitely go and support and check them out as well. They're black owned. Absolutely. And their designs black are owned amazing. In the community, please. So when, when is Martel going to come up with his clothing collection? Because you have an eye for fashion and your music videos and your music. You just have this eye for art and vision of design. So when would you come up with a clothing line? Would you ever come up with one? Um, I, I just think anything I would do, it would, it would be probably in, in collaboration with Twisted Fabric. Um, I, I, I feel like we, you know, we've kind of discussed some things. Um, I know in the body video um, that, that some of the things I've kind of just established the designs for, like that 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 do rag um, that was like you know this is what I want. A lot of times I will I'll kind of just I'll say what I want. Um, I'm very you know I'm I'm Beyonce songwriter like you know this is what I want and we kind of build around that. Um, and so I, I don't but I don't know that I have the specific. It's an art, and I know I know where my art um, stands, and so I don't ever want to. I, I I don't I don't want to ever feel like I'm just like I want to be part of everything, because um, you know people do want to just get get into everything, and I don't want to overindulge in things just to say I do everything rather than just saying you know yeah. these are things I'm great at, and let me really focus on what I'm great at. Um, when knowing I have people in my corner, or people who are really behind me, who are great at those things, who can help me, and I feel like that's what's most important. Um, so I don't know that I see design for myself anytime soon. Um, but again, I, I have my people back me up to always make sure I look good. Now, how about acting? Because we all know you and I know you, of course. We talked about it in the first interview from Twisted, Raheem's Twisted. And Raheem has his talk show out too. So make sure you guys go and subscribe to his channel and check out his app to go and check it out, the Raheem Brazil Show. So make sure you guys go and check that out. And you were one of the guests on there. So what was it like to reunite with him? Because I knew you from Twisted, and he gave you this opportunity, and now he has his talk show. What was that experience like to catch up with your co-star and director? I mean, he does it all. He does everything. Um, I absolutely love Raheem Brazil. Um, and it's really crazy. Um, I, I, I will say, uh, when, I, when I first met Raheem, I, I, I met him as a, a fan. Uh, I came to audition um, for Twisted, but I was already familiar with him from um, about him. I'd already seen him before. And so I was like, oh, this is dope that he's had, he has his own show. And so I walked in there knowing I'm a fan of him already. Um, and even as I, you know, when I you know, expressed all that to him, he, he's never been um, above himself. He's never, he's never been like, oh, I have an air of, you know, I have fans or anything of that sort. Like, Raheem has always been my brother. Um, I, I love Raheem. Um, and I'm always just so thankful um, anytime I get to work with him. Um, so it was so great, yeah, for him to have me on his show. Um, the Platform Speaks is a great show. Um, that Jasmine Flowers, she's so spicy. Um, that woman, uh, me and her, I know, I'm telling you, every time she be talking about her, I don't agree with her at all. I love her to death, but I, I, don't, I, don't, be, I don't be agreeing with her on that show. Um, but no, I, I, I absolutely do love, um, love um, Raheem, and my dog's going to come up here real quick because he's just so nosy. Aww. Hey, hey. Okay. All right. And um, trans and what else I love about his talk show is the transparency. Like, you get to see another side of him. Because we see both of you, you both do music. And to see this side of him as a talk show host, get the microphone and host the platform and be transparent. Like, I've seen the commercial that he put out, and I said, wow, he's crying and everything. And, and he's showing his vulnerability. And as a talk show host, I commend him that 100%. One talk show host to another. Because I got emotional yesterday, if you guys missed it, when my brother Scott Valentine came up here and was just pouring and giving us all of these gems and knowledge. So I definitely can relate. What about you acting-wise? Would you ever get back into acting? Absolutely. Um, the last project I was in was an online dating for men uh, with Watch ACTV, um, which is actually one of my favorite. Okay, Cash, you got to go. I'm sorry, son. 
Um, he just be one of be so nosy. Um, but Oman Dating for Men was definitely one of my favorite roles. Um, I, I really enjoyed that character because it was so far from myself. Um, so um, I don't know if it's, it's a secret. I'm sure it's not. Um, but we are um, getting ready to prep season two of Online Dating for Men. Um, so right. I'm very excited for that. Um, Ray Kimball does come back. Um, um, yeah, it, it's going to be wild. So I, I, I'm very much excited. Um, I'm excited for what is to come. So you guys, make sure y'all head on over and check out AC Connection TV, the website. That speaking of which, speaking of double AC Connection, make that's sure you guys crazy. head on over. We learn. Yes. Know, so, speaking of Angel, that's guys. Listen, Wes, we were just sure talking, on talking about online dating for men, and then you pop right on up. Shout out. Definitely, and AC Connection, make sure you guys head on over, check out the website, and go and subscribe. Great television shows on their amazing platform, and the conversation surrounding Jonathan Majors, AC Connection dropped a video, so make sure you guys check that out as well, too. I'm just giving shout out, shout out, shout out. So make sure you guys go and check it out, and check out Martel on there as well, too. So you guys can catch him in action acting because he not only does music he does the acting as well too uh, what else I is do. i want to say i do everything but i just i don't do everything this is not a time to play i'm sorry um i don't do everything um i do what i'm good at um so the things that you do see me doing i just do what i'm good at what well, you and raheem have that in common y'all both do it all you you're like jacks you do it all you act you dance you perform so how do y'all find that balance? How do you, as a creator, how do you find that balance with everything? It's difficult. Um, let me say it a few times um, because it's important. I don't want to forget it. Um, June 24th in Atlanta, I'm actually throwing um, a Wicked Birthday Bonanza. Um, so it's going to be um, both a birthday party for myself um, and also um, a concert um, for my Wicked album. Um, I'll have some other artists on there. Um, I'm probably going to say it a few more times just so, you know, people can see it here and here as it coming down. June 24th. Um, June 24th. Um, but balancing all of it, it is difficult sometimes because just um, being an independent artist, um, I am a real life person. Um, so while um, we look at um, the, the Beyonce's and the Megan Thee Stallions and the Chris Browns and the whatnot, like people who have um, a, a machine and, you know, millions of dollars behind them now, uh, they don't have to you know, when they say they're going to work, their work is in the studio. Um, when I say I'm going to work, I have to clock it for somebody else every day. So I still have to, you know, work my nine to five every day. Um, after I get done with that, then I still have to find time to you know, make sure I'm rehearsing for the show. Um, make sure, you know, I still get into the studio to you know, record the songs to make sure I'm still taking care of all of my, my artistry stuff as well. Um, so it is, it's, it's, it's difficult. And then so just trying to have like a regular life um, to just be a human and to go buy groceries and take care of my dog and to, you know, have my relationships and my friendships and things of that sort. Um, so it, it, it's a, it's a, it's a process. Um, you know, um, but it, it's just, you have to, you have to just make the time. And I made that face because it's the last time Martel was here, it was three of us. And I normally could piggyback off of Johnny. Johnny could piggyback off of me and just the dynamic in itself where it was three of us. It was me, Johnny, EJ, or me, Johnny, and Marco, you know, it would be a trio. Now it's just one. It's just me holding down the board. So it's kind of difficult for me to have to juggle all of those hats. And as an independent creator, I totally understand 100%. Whereas you mentioned Beyonce and all of these artists, they have a whole team. Being an independent artist is difficult. So what advice would you give to people who are wanting to dive in and say, okay, I want to be an independent artist. I want to get my jump start my music career. I want to jump start into acting. What advice would you give to them? Um, honestly, it, it is it, 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 it <clears throat> excuse me. It's it is finding finding that place of balance. Um, and then finding still where you can gain the most of, you know, managing the real life and getting the most out of your real life. Um, oh, there go my brother Eugene. And um, hey, we were just talking just about more, him, just like that. Um, but getting the most out of real life and then putting that into your artistry and putting that into everything. Um, I don't, I don't have any doubts um, or any regrets about. I, I feel like there's times where I'm like, you know, maybe I could have put more into this, or maybe I could have spent more time doing this instead of, um, you know, working so hard, or maybe because you know whatever. But I know also the work that I do pays for my music. Um, you know, why, you know, why, you know, whatever money I make for my music, that goes back to my music. But a lot of what I do, I pay for myself. Yeah. 
Um, so, you know, if I didn't have the job, if I didn't work as hard as I did, um, I wouldn't have the ability to do what I can do with my music. Um, when I think about the fact that every day I, I, I'm, and again, I don't feel like I'm, I am, I'm no mega superstar by any means, but when I think of me coming from a small city of Mansfield, Ohio, um, with a, a, a population of 60,000 people, um, to being who I am today, um, I, I, I feel so grateful because I know uh, many of my peers are still exactly where they were. Um, and again, there's nothing wrong with that. We all live different lives. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm just so thankful I, I, I have this opportunity. Um, if nothing else, I can say, you know, I grew up and I did. I became, I became this, 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 this NIGGA. Well, with, I got music videos. I have music. I, I have, I have things I find substantial. Um, where it's like I can show somebody this. I'm like, this is what I did. Um, and I, I am thankful for that. So you know, it is just one of those things to just keep, keep just doing things that you just love. Um, and that that's really it. if you if you love what you're doing and you're putting your passion behind it, um, the things just happen. The things just come together. The things that, you know, God will place you know place things for you um, to to allow you to succeed. And that success can come in so many ways. Um, it can come at, at any point in time. Because uh, again, even even today, I'm still steadily growing day by day by day. Um, and so every bit of growth is is, is growth for me, um, and I'm so thankful for that. And we literally, I've literally seen you elevate from when you started off with the first the first hit single, which was Show Out. And you did the remix with Raheem, and now you've got the new EP, Wicked. We've seen, and then you did Twisted, and then you went on to do so much for your career. And it's just like we've seen you from point A to point B. And I see you, Eugene. Make sure you guys go and subscribe to Eugene, Eugene's YouTube channel. He does a lot of music reviews and a lot of, a lot of music commentary. So make sure you guys head on over and check that out as well, too. But like I said, I've seen the growth from you come from point A to now point B. Looking back, what would you tell yourself from when you start, first started to now? Ignore everybody. Um, that really is it. Um, I know um, my, my, I think the biggest lesson, um, and not that, not that, you know, I can't take, I'm above advice, um, but I think a lot of times I had uh, ideas for myself um, and I let people say like, oh, well, no, this isn't what they're doing right now. Or, oh, no, this isn't what's, what, you know, this isn't what's in it. Or, you know, the people aren't going to understand this. Um, and so a lot of times they're just like, okay, well, let me, let me kind of adjust this to kind of fit more into the sound or to do, you know, to, to be more, you know, what, what I, you know, was being instructed versus, you know, do what you want. Um, I feel like really once I got to the place of just like, I don't care about, I don't care about anything in the sense of like, I don't, I don't let the opinions of others affect me. I don't let other people's thoughts affect me. Um, especially in the sense of, you know, I feel like to me, um, God, God is who, who I worship, who I follow. Um, I, I do believe if, if God wanted to, he could strike me down right now. Um, I believe so. I, I you know, I, 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 I know, I, I cherish the, the, the thought or the, the opinion that I feel like when I pray, I get from God. Um, my mother is someone who, her opinion matters to me. I feel like she's someone who I respect and I honor. Um, when I think about just people in the street, you know, I love when people, you know, you know, they love me and they support me. But if someone just be like, damn, Martel looks a mess today, it'd be like, well, I understand. And, you know, and we keep it moving. But I know people let it affect them so much. People people are often affected just by, you know, the thoughts or um, just what, what people say. I, I, I understand it. People can be vicious sometimes. Um, so I know that is my thing. It's just always just push past people and to always um, just really just to really just believe into what you what you believe for yourself. Um, if I really just, you know, just stick to your guns all the time, um, not that I like said, not that I, I followed everything, but I also know I, I took advice sometimes. So I, I just wish I would have just, you know, just kind of just, you know, follow yourself, follow your heart and just do what you want to do. Um, and when you're on the point of following your own heart and your own path, it, it just, it works, it slides, it moves. And let me see, let me read some of the comments. Eugene says, thank you. I welcome love, and he says, you are killing it. Let me see. I think we got another question down here. Let me check my question box. Being a content creator and a man of many hats, it's easy to trust people to create visuals for you. Ooh. And that is from Alan. Um, let me tell you, um, Raj, Rajiv Staten, Trinity House Productions, they, they do such a, a great job. Um, he, he does a, a wonderful job. He shot my video for Body. Um, he shot my video for Sammy Walker. 
Um, he's he's actually filming um, my concert um, coming up. Um, he does great work. I know I trust his vision so much. Um, I know I can tell him what I want. Um, I can you know, I can come up with you know this is this is the concept. And he's like okay, well, let's make it happen. Um, and we've made some really great things happen. Um, so I'm so thankful for him. Um, again, and that's what it's about having people on your team who can really hold you down. Yeah. June 24th, don't you guys forget, make June sure you mark 24th, your calendar. If you're at ATL, if you're not at ATL, pull up, listen. If you're not at ATL, and you can still support me. I'll, I, I'll listen. Link the you. link is here, a link to the party yet, but there'll be a link to the party as well. You can support even if you can't show up. I, I'll let you do that. Amen. And check out the EP, Wicked, which is out now on was, all yeah. platforms. By the way, his mom heard the album because you say you mentioned your mom. Has she heard the album? Um, you know, I don't, I don't know. We, cause I, I, so I try, I do try to keep my music away from my mom and my aunts. Um, I, I know it's not family friendly music. Um, I know, I, they've seen the body video. Um, they all of the body video. Like I, I let them brag about that. But like tell everybody, show all your friends. The, the video is good. I spent a lot of money in that video. So I'm like, listen, show everybody. But, um, a lot of my music overall, I be like, you don't have to listen to it um, because it's okay, um, and I you know I respect that because I know it's wild. Because um, it's not, it's not again. I don't make family music. I don't make music for kids. I don't make music for old people. Uh, my music is right. it, it's sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Um, so listen, you're trying to go to the club, you're trying to kick, you're trying to have a good time. Again, body, you know anybody can listen to body. You can, body is a real good gym song. Um, but overall, um, again, my music is it, it's real, it's real ratchet and raunchy. Um, so. Um, Actually, I, I do know for a fact that my mom probably has not heard this album, um, and I, I would respect that. Um, my dad, he's heard the album. He loves it. Um, uh, um, on the album, uh, Matt Do is, is, is my father. Um, it's the, the intro, um, and it's a song that he had wrote, um, who knows, back when he was a kid. Um, back when he was rapping when he was younger, before he was incarcerated. Literally. Yes. And, and I, I love the song, though. And I was just like, you know, I, I've always imagined that Matt, too, is who I would be um, had I grew up with my father, had my father raised me. Um, that would be the person who I was. Um, and so that is like my, my homage to him. Um, but yeah, so he loves, he's he's an always a supporter of my music, um, no matter how how ratchet, how nasty it is. He'd be like, oh, that was hard. Like, oh, okay, that was, that was good there. Like, okay, you did that. Da, da, da. Um, and I'll be, you know, I, I'm so appreciative of that, that he's never been, um, like, no matter, again, I, my, again my, my music is not um, polite in any way. It's very explicit. Um, it's very sexual. Um, it's, right. very, it's very homosexual at times. Um, but, you know, he'll still be like, okay, you know, that, was, that was good, though, you know, all right, you know. I, I, and so it's never, I've never felt judged by my father. I've never felt like, He's he, like, I, I don't want him to hear this because he's going to be like, nigga, that's gas. Right. Like, I've never felt um, like as though my, my father would um, shun me for any of the nasty things I say in my music. Um, as, long as, it, as long as it's good, he's going to support it. Um, and uh, I appreciate that. And that is amazing to have that support of, it goes back to what you said a few minutes ago, with just having that support system around you, not just the team, but having family support and be there and listen to the music along with it. It's raunchy as it is or whatever, they still support and love what you do. I saw a body and cake appearance. I clutched my pearls, my first lady pearls with delight. <laughs> Come on, delight. Yes, Karma the Black Sheep is also an artist too, so make sure you guys go and check her out as well. She is dope, so make sure you guys go and check her out. Amazing rapper. I see a few faces, familiar faces in the comments. I see you all are coming in. Make sure you guys share the live. We are here with Martel Star, and we are talking about this new EP, Wicked, which is out on all platforms right now, and it's going to be performing. Make sure you guys check out June 24th. Make sure you guys check out the link tree below. We have it in. And check him out on ACTV, AC Connection TV. ACTV just came in a few minutes ago. So make sure you guys get on over to YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and check out the app as well to get a subscription. So you'll be able to check out all of the amazing shows from this year and so much more. And we got a question for you. Yeah. So first off, this this is my nephew. Um, I love it. So first off, um, Davery dances, dances down. 
Um, so he's my nephew. Um, he wants to know when my next visual is coming together. Um, and listen, um, you can dance with me any day right now. Um, Davey dancers could dance anybody I know under the water. Um, and I know some amazing dancers, and y'all dance down. Um, and so there's no competition at all. Um, but I know that that boy, he's been dancing. I, I've known him. Um, he's not my blood nephew, uh, but he's been my nephew for decades now at this point. Um, oh my gosh, I love him. That's crazy. Um, but I, I am just, you know, again, just thankful for people who, who let me down. Um, so, at, at, you know, June 24th um, is when I'll be hosting that concert. Um, and then we'll be filming that. So then we'll be releasing that virtually as well. Um, so there, there's a lot coming. Um, I think this, this is going to be a good year for me. This is, this is my, my next year of, of elevation. So I'm, I'm thankful. So you guys, make sure you guys are following all things Martel Star. And Dee, Dee says, love you, Uncle. Any more questions, fashion dolls? Now, we didn't get a chance to do this game with Martel the first time. We did something called the Rapid Five, and then we did Turn the Tables when me and my co-host Johnny had Martel here. But we're going to do something called My Style, My Way. Since we talked about Tiffany Fabric, and today's show is kind of relating to fashion, because and when I opened and I did my introduction, we talked about the Met Gala. So this game is called My Style, My Way. You have to give me five ways you would describe your personal style, and I can give you one. I would say innovative, because you're always doing things that are out of the norm, but you always seem to elevate above and beyond. So I would have to say innovative. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um... And what's crazy, I don't even feel like my fashion really is even all that, like, especially, I think, post-pandemic, I feel like post-pandemic, the most comfortable thing for me are sweatpants and t-shirts. Let me tell you, I, <laughs> that's in the for me. Sundresses for me. I'm all about corporate, and I said this. Listen. Was it on yesterday's show or the day before? I would have to, I think it was the day before I said, I'm all about comfort. All of us, when this pandemic first hit, comfort. It's so important. So, yeah, I think that's part of my style now is comfort. Um, I know um, even, like I said, I, um, Twisted Fabric, they have lots of like, hoodies and things for me, um, like sweatsuits. Um, I, 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 um, I, I, uh, <laughs> I have lots of, um, I want things that are comfortable. I want things that I can just, you know, I can lounge around the house or I can just throw in and go. Um, even when I think um, I performed in like, a, it was a, a, a short set, you know, like a little velvety set. Um, and it, again, it just as easily could have been um, like a little pajama set or just like a little casual, um, just like lounge yeah. wear. Um, and so I love things like that. Um, I do um, sexy, I guess would be word three. Um, I like lots of like harnesses and like crop tops. Um, like this here is like a little crop top. I like things that are, I like to show a little bit of skin, you know. Uh, um, um, I don't know. It, it's childish sometimes too. Childish and, it's, and people, um, I've always, I feel like I've always just been childish. Um, and I'm okay with that. No matter, I feel like I'm gonna be 90 years old, I'm gonna be childish all my life. Um, I feel like I do always want to keep an air of youth about me. I always want to keep a, a, a bit of like that joy in my heart. Um, a bit of like, there's always some a little yeah. piece of imagination that you know, I keep inside of me. Um, and so I feel like that's important. And I feel like um, that comes out of my fashion. I feel like sometimes, um, I remember I dated, I dated a man for a really long time and he used to did not like my fashion. And my things. he used to be like, you dress childish. And I'm like, but I feel like that's also, that's a part of who I am. Um, and I didn't even, I didn't take it, you know, again, I, I don't, nothing, really not much offends me. Um, and so I wasn't offended. It wasn't like, I was like, I wasn't like an abusive relationship or anything. Um, but he did say, he used to tell me I dressed childish. And I'm like, well, you know, I, I I, I do. Um, and I think that is that 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 childishness is part of my brand. I feel like that is that kind of that there is something when you see Martel like all he do is play. Um, oh, dang. we we oh, both have that in common when we have colorful personalities, and sometimes people will think it's childish. But my th here's my thing right here: have fun while you're dressing. Have fun, like live. I, I told a story yesterday about when I pulled out a whole tool skirt and I took it and turned it into like this gown. And yeah, we check out yesterday's episode. I talked about how we almost had an accident before I went on. Like on my trip to Ukraine, I was trying to relive my I was trying to relive my Carrie Branch, my inner Carrie Bradshaw. Oh my God. And I tripped on the train. So thank God nobody's seen that live. It yeah. I, I went down, but yeah. But you're here now. Absolutely, yes. 
Oh my goodness. And we got a question for you from Alan Yankee. He wants to know what is the growth between your freshman album to your sophomore album? Ooh. Oh my god. Gosh. Um Hey, just me in general. I think that I have grown. Um while I do I love Welcome to Info City, I think that was a was a great project. Um Little, little, little do, do y'all know, um, I actually have a mixtape that came out back in like 2013. Um, nobody heard it. I don't even know what happened to it. It's not online anywhere more. Um, I have the music technically on my phone, but no one else can ever hear it. Um, and that's okay. Um, but even when I think about from there to Welcome to Remote City, which is my first like, you know, publicly released project, and then Wicked, um, there is so much growth. Both like, you know, just me as a person. I've grown. Um, I've had life experiences. I've been in relationships. I, you know, I've been... Um, you know, I've been broken up with. I am broke up with some people. Um, I, you know, there are folks that have been, been cheating and sneaking. And, you know, um, just I've been single. I've been, you know, I've been a hoe. I've been to church. I've been, you know, I've been to work. Um, so many things have happened in my life. Um, I've lost people, um, both, you know, when I fell out, I've lost people to death. Um, I've lost people to, you know, just whatever. Um, I've had people born. Um, so many things have happened in my life that have affected my music. Um, that have kind of just shown um, shown me um, just, you know, different things about life. Um, it affects how, you know, I write my music. It affects, you know, the kind of music I want to hear, um, the things that I want to put out for myself. Um, so, yeah, I just think, you know, just life in general has happened. Um, so I don't know if anything, one specific thing has happened to me um, to be like, well, this is really affected. Like, this is definitely, you know, I just think, you know, life as a whole, I think as we grow, as we experience things, um, it, it, it puts you in the direction to say, you know, this is where my art is right now. Um, you know, I'm, I am thankful for that because I, I feel like, um, you know, nothing has led me astray thus far. And so I am thankful for that. Yes. And Tevin is here, he says, ah. Martel. Tevin LaBreeze, I see you. Yes, and for those of you who don't know, Tevin was also in the film with me. We did a film back in 2021. We did The Assistant to Reconnected. So make sure you guys check that out. It is out on YouTube. And it dropped Halloween. That would have been Halloween 2021. So make sure you guys go and check it out. Definitely. Definitely. Ajante Productions. Yes. Now, the performance is June 24th. Are you ready? And I'm pretty sure there's going to be more and more, like it's Coachella season, it's festival season. Are you ready for all of these performances coming up? Um, I am not ready. Listen, if y'all want to book me for anything, please do. I, I'll come to your kids' birthday parties. Um, what's crazy, let me tell y'all, as I, I was at rehearsal yesterday, um, and in the studio, um, somebody had their baby with them in the studio. Um, and I was just doing my song, so I was like, I can't, I don't have time to stop because you got your kids here, so I'm going to just keep going. Um, so I don't make children music, I'm telling y'all. Um, so I did my song, and the little boy was like, do it again. And I said, what? And he said, do it again. And I said, okay. And so I played different songs because I had to keep moving my set. But he was just so entertained, and I was like, that's crazy. I said, hey, I'm glad he doesn't know what these boys, he doesn't know what I'm saying. And I, I appreciate that because it's not children's music. But he was so entertained, and he was just dancing along with me. And I said, I need everyone to look like him when they come to my shows. I said, when I come to my, you know, when I'm at my shows, y'all better dance and y'all better cheer. It was like this little three-year-old young man because he was with it. Um, I am not ready for my show. Um, there's, you know, there's so much that just goes into it. Um, again, along with, because um, initially I was planning, planning for it to be a bit earlier, um, but then I opted. I was like, you know, let's move it back to June. We'll actually make it a, a birthday, you know, birthday event as well. Um, because, you know, why not celebrate me and all essence of, of me? Um, I feel like that's the best thing that we can do. Um, and then I know my mom is going to come down. I have my family coming in, um, which is super important to me. Because um, a lot of times um, my family hasn't, you know, I really actually haven't had any of my family come and, like, visit me here. Um, I took the kind of performance to Ohio. Um, yeah, so they're going to come forward for, you know, just to come celebrate my birthday and be here for the concert. Um, so I'm, I'm super excited about that. Um, so I know I am getting ready. Um, I am super excited. I have a new wig coming. I am super excited. There are so many things um, coming on the way which make me excited about this event. Um, but today, um, no, I still have I still have a little um, a little more time. I need to be in the gym. Um, so I got to be. I've been. Let me tell you, I'll be doing two days in the gym right now. I am working so hard um, to make this look good. Um, I am really putting in a lot of effort because um, a. I mean, I want to look good for myself. But you know, this I know what I think about I'm going to film this. This is gonna be a project that again I'll have forever. Um so I wanna make sure I'm in tip top shape. 
Um, so yeah, so I've been going to the gym like literally some days I'll be in there twice a day and I ain't never done nothing like that. Um, you know, I'm out here trying to drink all the water. I can drink out my skin and look good. Um, you know, I'm out here. I'm trying. I'm trying, y'all. And you, you're performing. You dance and you sing. So it's about breathing control. All of these things take a number into it. So um, someone said this. I think it was Jan. I think it was Janet Jackson. Um, someone asked her, "Has she ever got tired?" Of dancing, it's just like no. The stamina and willpower that goes along with being a performer overall. These are all the things that go into it. With being able to sing, dance, perform, breathing control, stage presence, all of that. And you said your mom is coming down for your birthday, and this will be her first time ever hearing some of your music. Are you nervous? What What's your What's your response to that? I know you're nervous. Um, you know, I don't know actually how I feel about that. Um. I mean, I think for her, okay, because I know she's seen, she seen like the body video, and that the video was, you know, pretty sexy, it was pretty sexy, it was pretty raunchy, um, but, you know, she was real, like, it, it looks good, you know, she's like, I'm telling all my friends, like, I'm gonna show everybody, like, this is my son, y'all, um, and I'm like, yeah, that's cute, um, and I appreciate, I, I appreciate it of that, um, I don't know how, I, actually, I would feel her actually like, hearing me say a lot of these things, though, um, but again, I think in the sense of like, she just gonna see me, you know, performing. She gonna see me, um, you know, on stage, and she's like, "That's my baby, y'all." Um, I'm, I'm telling y'all, I'm grown as hell. But that woman don't care. Like, she gonna be up there, like, you know, that let her tell I'm 12 years old, and she gonna be in the front row. Um, and I, I could definitely believe that. Um, so I, I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to see um, this for all to come together. Um, we are rehearsing. Um, I got the Star Boys together, so we, 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 we start rehearsals. Um, as a group, actually, on tomorrow. Um, so I'm just super excited about that. Um, there's a lot. So let me tell you, I, I'm just working hard. Um, I'm just trying to get it together. So I, I'm appreciative. Um, so June 24th, um, when tickets go on sale, y'all will know. Um, be ready. Um, y'all y'all can, you know, click this link down here, though. Yeah, right at the very bottom. Y'all can click that link and be ready. Y'all can start, you know, downloading my music and watch my videos now so y'all know what the words are when y'all see me. Um, because if y'all go to Beyonce's concert, y'all gonna know her words already. So when y'all come to my show, I want y'all to know my words too. Um, I appreciate it. All right, fashion dolls, make sure y'all go and check out the EP Wicked. Do we have any questions for myself or Martel before we close out this amazing conversation? And you got so much love and support. I've seen so many big names. You got Tevin came in here, Eugene came in here, um, AC Connection TV. Ladies and gentlemen, we also had Dylan Mooney from BET. Plus, this family business pop up in the comments. Come on, um, shout me. out to Aoi, who is an amazing artist and singer and songwriter. I did an interview with Aoi, so make sure you guys check out his hit single, Brand New, which is out on all platforms as well, too. Um, he's done doing, doing some new music out, so make sure you guys go and check it out. So it's just a lot of uh, familiar faces come up in the audience. You never know who's going to be here. You never know. Hey, man, that's the vibe. Um, thank you so much. I am I am just so thankful and so appreciative. Um, anytime that I, you know I get to spend and talk with you, I am, I am so thankful. Um, it's such a good time. This has been this was actually such a good like, like such a good interview today. Um, and I'm so thankful for this. Um, I know some days it just be like you know I'm not always in like prime like ready to be out there. But, in the, you know, but I am so thankful just to just to have this opportunity. Um, I want to really want to just give a good uh, shout out to Primography, who's uh, my choreographer um, for the show. Um, he's giving me taken care of um to make sure that we look good um i'm so excited um my star boys thank y'all so much uh, for holding me down um uh, we are going to look so great um i actually i have a she she's still she's she's part of the star boys but she's a woman um but just thank you thank you everybody who is um a part of my team um, who is just helping me to get this done um thank everyone who listens to my music and supports me um, i just i am i'm thankful every time uh, when i think about it again I'm just a little a little boy from Mansfield, Ohio. Um, and so just anytime someone just takes the time to to invest anything on me, it's appreciative. And that support system, having an amazing support system is just awesome. I mean, you've got it. You you know I support my co-host Johnny, all of us, we support you 100 percent So if you guys have not, make sure you guys go and check out Markel's EP Wicked, which is out on all platforms right now. The link is pinned below. Make sure you guys go and check him out performing June 24th. June 24th is June will be Pride Month. So make sure you guys, if you're in the Atlanta area, June 24th, head on out there and go and check out Martel. 
And I'm going to leave you guys with the final thought of the day, which comes from actor Omar Epps. And it goes like this. It kind of ties in with having that amazing support circle and following your passions, all right? Whatever art form you're working in, it's crucial to see it clearly, to feel it clearly, and not to worry about the results or how someone else will see it. That means continue to go forth and follow your heart's passions and desires. I always knew in my heart I wanted to be a talk show hostess. Or if someone says, um, well, maybe you should be a model. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not model material. I'd, I'd rather stick behind being a talk show host. And that has been my dream and goal for the longest, to make sure that I bring awareness to people that want to get into the music business. And with that is with our very special guest, Martel, here today, who is educated, who is an amazing performer, dancer, and just innovator, and just in general. Make sure you guys, please go and support. So follow your heart's desires. That is tying in with what we're saying with the day That's show. perfect. So go for it. Yes. That was perfect. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. Let everyone know where they can check you out. Again, June 24th. Wicked EP is out. Any final words for your supporters? That because you have so much love, you're surrounded by love. Thank you. And you know what? That's why I, I. That's all I really want in life is just an abundance of love. Um, I want to be a beacon of light amongst the people, um, and they just feel just love and warmth from me. Um, so thank y'all. Shout out to y'all. Keep doing y'all thing, really. Um, y'all know where y'all can follow me. Um, y'all should be following me right now. If you're not, it's at Marto Star. At Marto Star everywhere. Um, you can follow this little link tree down here. It's the link in my bio. Um, you can get all my music. You can find me anywhere. If you type in Marto Star, if you put it in Google, Marto Star, my face will pop up. Sometimes Lady from Star Wars pops up sometimes too, but don't mind her. Um, most times, almost every time on the first page, it's me. Thank y'all so much. You are so welcome. All right, Fashion Dolls, no show tomorrow, but Friday, we are going to get into some girl talk. Three women, myself, Savannah McIntosh, who is the owner and creator of Savvy Event Brands Entertainment. So make sure you guys follow her. And we also have Danielle Ward. So it's going to be three women, three opinions, three different walks of life. We're going to be talking about body image, body by Martel Star. So make sure you guys go and check that out. We're going to be talking about so much. So make sure you guys tune in for Friday's Girl Talk at 4 p.m. It's been a minute since we did a Girl Talk panel. So make sure you guys tune in Friday. I will see you then at four. And make sure you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Be intentional and make sure you guys have fun. I love you all and stay safe, everyone.